You're Drifting Off with WSLP AM, Big Rapids. The Northwoods Baseball Radio Network presents Sleep Radio. Tonight, from Sam Nolan Field in Manistee, Michigan, it's the Manistee Eagles hosting the Cadillac Cars. Here's your host, Wally McCarthy. McCarthy with you again on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. It is a perfect night for a ball game. This evening we are in beautiful Sam Nolan Field as the Manistee Eagles host the Cadillac Cars. There's a breathtaking view of the sun just starting to set over Lake Michigan. 74 degrees at game time with almost no wind. You'd have to be a real jerk to complain about weather like this. And we're delighted to have you this evening. A reminder that you can keep in touch with us on your computer by visiting sleepbaseball.com. Sleepbaseball.com. I know that some of you like to play around on the computer, and we love to hear from you. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineup for the Cadillac Cars. Leading off and playing second base for Cadillac, Flipper Cortez. Batting second and playing first base, Philip Nakamura. Batting third and playing third base this evening is Shiny Patterson. The cleanup hitter for Cadillac is left fielder Gilligan Parker. Shortstop Pinky Slauson will bat fifth. Right fielder Gabriel Palomar will bat sixth. Catcher Giovanni Gasparo bats seventh. Batting eighth, center fielder Fritz Ortega. And batting ninth, starting pitcher Bronson Nubbins. Nubbins enters tonight's game with a record of 6-3 and three, with a 3.74 ERA. And the starting pitcher for Manistee this evening is hometown favorite Billy the Burrow Brello. He enters tonight's game with a record of 5-3. and three. His battery partner is catcher J.B. Gantry. And defensively for Manistee this evening, Gian Haggerty is at first. Rodrigo Maryhew at second. Ali Nunez is at third. Tito McCaskill is playing shortstop. Mickey Navarro is in left field. Lincoln Smathers in center field. And Billy Joe Rickson rounds things out in right field. And producer Phil has passed me a note. It says Rickson is back in the lineup after being out after an injury involving soap shoes. Soap shoes. I'm not sure what that means, Phil. Okay. Apparently, Rickson is a freestyle walker when he's not on the field. So that was a freestyle walking injury. Hmm. We're glad he's okay, and we wish him continued injury-free success in his freestyle walking career. All right. 
night, Crew Chief Bert Gibbs has signaled that it's time to play ball and we are underway. And that will bring up Flipper Cortez to face Brello. Brello has really dialed in his four-seam fastball of late. And here's the first pitch. That's high for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Inside for a ball, it's 2-0. And the 2-0 pitch. That's popped up to left field. Mickey Navarro is under it. And he has it for the first out. And Philip Nakamura steps into the box. Nakamura having a great season thus far, batting 379. And here's Brello's pitch. And that's in there for a called strike, 0 and 1. The 0 1 is outside for a ball, it's 1 and 1. the pitch. Low and outside for a ball. Two balls, one strike. And the 2-1. Nakamura swings and misses at a curveball outside. It's 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2. Two -two. And Nakamura fouls that one off and out of play. Still 2-2. Two and two. Here's the pitch, and that's fouled off again, still two and two. And there's one outside for a ball, full count. Here's the payoff pitch, and Nakamura slaps that one into the gap in left field, and that will drop in for a hit. Nakamura hustling to second base, and he will beat the throw. That's a double for Nakamura. One out, man on second, and in steps Shiny Patterson. The first pitch to Patterson. Outside for a ball, it's 1-0. The 1 0. Patterson smacks that one sharply foul. It's 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch. And that nibbles the corner for a called strike. It's 1 and 2. The 1 2. Patterson takes a hack at a high fastball, foul and out of play, still one and two. The pitch. Very high for a ball, it's two and two. And here's the two two. Low and outside for a ball, another full count for Brello. And the payoff pitch. And Patterson takes a wild swing at that one for a strikeout. Brello got him to chase one down and in. Two outs. And that brings up left fielder Gilligan Parker. The first pitch to Parker is in there for a called strike. It's 0-1. And, and 
Here's the 0-1. And that's called a strike. It's 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. That misses wide. It's 1-2. The one two pitch. Outside again, it's two and two. Here's the two two. Wide again, and once again, Brello has run the count full. Here's the payoff pitch. And Parker hits that one right up the middle for a base hit. Nakamura will score easily from first. And Parker breaks the ice here in Manistee with that RBI single. And Pinky Slauson steps in. The pitch. Outside for a ball, it's 1-0. The 1-2 oh pitch. That's called a strike. It's one and one. And the one one. That's a strike. It's one and two. The pitch. And Slauson swings and misses for the third out. So Cadillac is on the board with the RBI single by Gilligan Parker. And at the end of the first half inning, it's the Cadillac Cars 1. The Manistee Eagles coming up in the bottom half. We'll be right back on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. at uh, Ed Orn's house of sleep asked me to drop by and talk to you a minute about their mattresses and other sleep-related items, beds, headboards, nightcaps, and essential oils. They just added the essential oils last week. Uh, Ed Orn's wife, uh, Beatrice, got over there, and, and uh, she's really into the essential oils. She makes her own. They have a few little tubs out back. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Ed Orn's house of sleep. You don't need to count your sheep if you go to Ed Orn's house of sleep. And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field, everybody. Wally McCarthy reporting. It is the bottom of the first here on the sleepy shores of Lake Michigan. Cadillac leads 1-0. And leadoff man Mickey Navarro steps in to face Cadillac starting pitcher Bronson Nubbins. Here's the first pitch from Nubbins. Swung on and missed, strike one. The 0-1. And that one is inside for a ball. It's one and one. The 1-1. One, one. Way outside for a ball, it's two and one. The two one. That's a slider in the dirt, it's three and one.
and the 3-1 pitch. And that misses badly, and Manistee has a man on first with no outs. And that will bring up right fielder Billy Joe Rickson. And the pitch to Rickson. Outside for a ball. Nubbins appears to be having some control problems early in this game. The 1 0 pitch. Called a strike, it's 1 and 1. The 1 1. Swung on and missed, strike 2. The 1 2 pitch. And that's hit softly into left field for a base hit. And Manistee has runners on first and second with no outs. And that will bring up J.B. Gantry, who steps into the box. The first pitch to Gantry. And that one will get away from catcher Gasparo, but the runners will not advance. It's 1-0. The 1-0. Inside for a ball, it's 2-0. And the pitch. And that's high for a ball, it's 3-0. Nubbins shuffling around a bit, trying to get it together out there. And here's the 3-0 pitch. And that's called a strike, it's 3-1. Here's the payoff pitch. And Gantry hits that one down the third base line. Shiny Patterson scoops it up and over to second. And the throw to first is in time. That is a 5-4-3 double play. Two outs now, nobody on. And in steps Lincoln Smathers. And here's the pitch. That's inside for a ball. It's 1-0. And, oh. The 1-0 oh pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one pitch. Smashed foul and out of play. It's 1-2. The one-two pitch. That's just outside for a ball. Count even at two and two. The two-two pitch. And Smathers swings and misses for the third out of the inning. So Bronson Nubbins able to get back on track a bit after a rough start to that inning. And at the end of one... It's Cadillac 1, Manistee nothing. We'll be back with a second inning in a moment, here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Attention fans, a beagle has been found in Section 234. His tag reads, Rupert. Please come to the main concession area to retrieve Rupert the Beagle. Wally McCarthy here. After a long day at the field, I relish any chance I can get to visit the Ivanhoe Supper Club in Arcadia. Enjoy a porterhouse steak, relax in the fresh Lake Michigan breezes, 
and maybe sample a dry martini or two. Become an Ivanhoe Club member to receive reward points. Always free valet parking and always a luxurious experience. The Ivanhoe Supper Club. Mention my name, Wally McCarthy, and receive 10% off your next meal. And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field. Wally McCarthy reporting. We are in the top of the second inning, and Gabriel Palomar will bat for Cadillac to lead off this inning. The cars are up 1-0. And here's the first pitch from the burrow. That's in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Deal one. Low and outside for a ball, it's one and one. And the one one pitch. That's in there for a strike, one and two. The one two pitch. And that's a comebacker to Brello. He's got it and shovels over to first in time for the out. One away. That's a 1-3 put out if you're scoring at home. And that will bring up catcher Giovanni Gasparro. And the pitch. Called a strike, 0-1. Deal one pitch, and that's low for a ball. It's one and one. The one one, and that one misses outside. It's two and one. The two one pitch, that's a little dribbler back to the mound, and once again, Brello will toss over to first for the second out. Two outs, nobody on, and that brings up Fritz Ortega. The first pitch to Ortega. Outside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0. Fouled off and out of play, it's 1-1. One and one. The 1-1. One, one. And Ortega flares that one into the gap in center field for a base hit. And that will bring up the pitcher spot, Bronson Nubbins. Man on first, two outs. And the pitch. And Nubbins hits that one weakly right to Brello, who tosses over to first for the third out. And all three outs in the top of the second were one three put outs. Brello is keeping busy out there. And after one and a half, it remains Cadillac one, Banistee nothing. We'll be back with the bottom of the second here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Giovanni Gasparo for Mr. King's Particles. We're the only one in the Queen City area with the helium. 
how else you want to pour a balloon without a helium? That's what I say. Go over to Mr. King's part of goods. Tell him that Jim Donica Sparrow sent him. What a lift. Mr. King's part of goods. And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field, everybody. Wally McCarthy here reporting. As we kick off the bottom of the second inning, Holly Nunez will step in to bat for Manit Steve. Bronson Nubbins on the mound for Cadillac. Cadillac leads 1-0. And the first pitch to Nunez. And he spanks that one right to his counterpart at third base, Shiny Patterson. And Patterson gets that over to first in time for the out. One away. Well, one out, nobody on, and that will bring up shortstop Tito McCaskill. And here's Nubbin's pitch. And that's called a strike 0-1. The 0 1 pitch. And McCaskill pops that one straight up. Gasparo is under it. And he will make the catch for the second out. And that will bring up Rodrigo Maryhew. And here's Nubbins with the pitch. That's in there for a called strike. It's 0 and 1. And the 0-1, just outside for a ball. The count is even at 1-1. One and one. The 1-1, swung on and missed. It's 1-2. and two. Looks like Mary Hugh got confused by Nubbin's windup. He has a kind of stutter motion that he likes to use now and again. And the one-two pitch. And Mary Hugh rips that one into left field for a two-out base hit. One on, two outs, and that will bring up the number eight hitter, Gian Haggerty. And here's the pitch to Haggerty. And that one is slapped foul and out of play. It's 0-1. Nubbin's giving a long look over to first base. And there's a snap throw to first, and Mary Hugh is picked off at first base to end the inning. At the end of two, it remains Cadillac one, Manistee nothing. We'll be back with the third inning after these messages on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Buck three, AV. Specializing in Betamax and multi-regional DVD. The only such service in the Quint City area. Tim Buck three, AV.
And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field in Manistee. I'm Wally McCarthy reporting on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. And as we begin the top of the third, Cadillac leads 1-0. And Brello will face off against the top of the Cadillac order as Flipper Cortez steps in. The pitch. That's in there for a called strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1. Call the strike again. It's 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. That's outside for a ball. It's 1-2. The 1-2 pitch. That's inside for a ball. Count even at 2-2. Two two. The 2-2 two two pitch. That's inside again for a ball. That almost hit Cortez. Full count. The payoff pitch. That's outside, and that's a leadoff walk for Flipper Cortez. And that will bring up Philip Nakamura. Nakamura had a double in the first inning. Here's Brello's pitch. Outside for a ball, 1-0. and The 1-0. That's in there for a called strike. It's 1-1. The 1-1 pitch, way outside for a ball. That one almost got away from Gantry. It's 2-1. The 2-1 and the 2-1 pitch, outside again for a ball. It's 3-1. The 3-1. And the 3-1. And Nakamura hits a bouncer sharply. That will end up in left field, and Cadillac has two runners aboard with no outs here in the top of the third. And Shiny Patterson will bat. He struck out in the first inning. And the pitch. And Patterson strokes that one to right field. Cortez is being waved home, and he will score. And that's an RBI single for Shiny Patterson. Runners at first and third, a run in and no outs. Cadillac now leads 2-0. And that will bring up Gilligan Parker. Parker had a base hit in the first inning. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch. Outside, it's 1-1. And the 1-1 from Brella. Parker takes a wild swing at a high fastball. He misses that one badly, and it's one and two. And the one-two is high for a ball. Count even at two and two. The two-two pitch. And that's low for a ball. Full count. And the payoff pitch. And that one is bounced foul down the third base line, and we'll do it again. The pitch. And that's high and inside. That's a walk for Parker, and the bases are now loaded with no outs. And pitching coach Ray Chandler is going to saunter out for a meeting on the mound. 
Let's pause for a moment for a station ID here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. You're drifting off with WSLP AM, Big Rapids. And umpire Burke Gibbs is going to break up the party on the mound. And that will bring up Pinky Slauson for Cadillac. Slauson struck out in his last at-bat. The pitch to Slauson. And that is hammered into right field. Another run will score, and it's 3-0 Cadillac. Bases still loaded. Another run in, still no outs. And Gabriel Palomar steps in. A rough inning for Brello so far, and his pitch count is already at 60 here in the top of the third with no outs. And here's the first pitch to Palomar. That misses away 1 and 0. The 1 0. High and inside, and that almost hit Palomar 2 and 0. A lot of command issues for Brello right now. The 2-0 pitch. That's hit foul and out of play. It's 2-1. and one. And the 2-1. Palomar swings and misses at that one. It's 2-2. Two and two. The pitch. Palomar skies that one fouling out of play, still two and two. The two two. And that's a squibber that squeaks into shallow right field, and that will score yet another run. It's now four nothing Cadillac. Base is still loaded, nobody out. And Manistee manager Buzz Douglas is going to head out to the mound. It appears that is the end of Billy the Burrow's day. We'll have a pitching change here in the top of the third. We'll be right back in a few moments on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Good evening. I'm Dana Dedrick in the WSLP Newsroom. The Big Rapids Oddfellows Lodge will host their monthly pancake breakfast at Pioneer Park this Sunday. A reminder that, as always, kids eat free. Local dentist Dr. Ted Bushing will be giving free toothbrushes to all. Sheriff Burgess's office reported a one-car accident early Sunday morning just north of O'Shaughnessy's dart room. No injuries were reported, and the vehicle sustained minimal damage. A child's blue bicycle was reported stolen in front of Ramsdale Library Saturday afternoon. Mally's Ice Cream is offering a gift certificate for tips leading to its safe return. More news and weather after the game. I'm Dana Dedrick for WSLP News. And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field here in Manistee. We are in the top of the third. Cadillac has the bases loaded. Nobody out. And the new hurler for Manistee is relief pitcher Boots Standish. And Giovanni Gasparo will step up to the plate for Cadillac. And here's the pitch. That's low for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Low again for a ball. It's 2-0.
and the 2-0 pitch. That's in there for a called strike, 2-1. and one. The 2-1 pitch, and that's slapped foul down the third baseline, 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2. Two, two. Foul and out of play, still 2-2. Two and two. The pitch. And that one bounces in front of the plate. Gantry does a good job just keeping hold of that one. Full count, bases loaded, nobody out. And here's the pitch. And Gasparro gets all of that one. That is a long, lazy, Grand Slam home run over the center field wall. And Cadillac now leads 8 0. Great day in the morning. Bases cleared, still no outs. Cadillac has scored seven runs thus far in this inning. And that will bring up Fritz Ortega. He had a base hit in the top of the second inning. The pitch to Ortega. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. The 0-1. That's in there for a called strike. It's 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. Outside for a ball, it's 1-2. and two. The 1-2. Swung on and missed, and Ortega is down on strikes for the first out. And that will bring up the pitcher spot, Bronson Nubbin. And the pitch to Nubbins. In there for a called strike, it's 0-1. The 0-1. Another called strike right down the middle, it's 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. Outside for a ball, it's one and two. And the one two. And Nubbins takes an awkward hack at that one. That was way out of the zone, but Bronson Nubbins is down on strikes for the second out of the inning. And we're back to the top of the lineup with Flipper Cortez. Cortez walked to start this seemingly endless inning. And the pitch. Swung on and missed. 0 and 1. The 0 1. Outside for a ball. Count even at 1 and 1. And the 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside again for a ball. It's 2-1. The 0-2 one. One. Cortez fouls that one out of play. It's 2-2. Two and two. And the 2-2 two, two pitch. That one's in tight for a ball. Full count. And the payoff pitch. And that's in the dirt, and Cortez has walked for the second time in this inning. Runner on first, two outs. And that brings up Philip Nakamura, who has two hits in the game already. And the pitch to Nakamura. Fouled off, it's 0-1.
Castillo one. Outside for a ball, it's one and one. The one one pitch. And that ball is crushed, going way, way back. And that is a two run homer for Philip Nakamura. And Cadillac continues to pour it on here in the third inning. It's a 10 0 Cadillac game. And the 11th batter of the inning comes to the plate for Cadillac, Shiny Patterson. The pitch. And that's called a strike. It's 0 and 1. Via one pitch. Outside for a ball, it's one and one. The one one. Swung on and missed, it's one and two. The one two pitch. Outside for a ball, count even at two and two. Here's the 2-2, and that's low for a ball, full count. The payoff pitch, swung on and missed for a strikeout, and the top of the third is mercifully over for Manistee. Cadillac puts nine runs on the board, and it's all Cadillac as they lead 10-0. We'll be back with the bottom of the third inning in a moment, here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. And welcome back into Sam Nolan Field, friends. We are in the bottom of the third. Cadillac leads 10-0 after a relentless top of the third, where they scored nine runs. And Boots Standish steps in to bat for himself against Bronson Nubbins. And the pitch. That's in there for a called strike, 0-1. Oh the 0-1. Outside for a ball, it's 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one pitch. And that one is fouled off and out of play, it's 1-2. The one two. Fouled off again. Still one and two, and we'll do it again. And the pitch. And that's low for a ball. Count even at two and two. The two two. Very low for a ball. Full count.
And now Nubbins will step out and call time. And the pitch. Fouled off again, still three and two. The payoff pitch. Fouled off once again. Standish making Nubbins do some real work out there. And the pitch. Fouled off yet again. The pitch. And Standish belts that one the other way, splitting the gap in right field. And he is going to turn on the gas and head for second base. And that's a leadoff double for pitcher Boots Standish. And that will bring up the top of the order, Mickey Navarro. Navarro walked in the first inning. The first pitch to Navarro. And that's a hard hit ball to third. Patterson has it and tosses across to first in time for an out. Standish cannot advance. One out, man on second for Billy Joe Rickson. Nubbins pitch. Swing and a miss, it's 0-1. The 1 Swing and a miss. Strike two. The 2 That's very high for a ball. It's one and two. The 1 2. Smacked foul down the first baseline. Still one and two. The pitch. And that's high for a ball. Count even two and two. The 2-2 pitch. Outside for a ball. Full count. The payoff pitch. And that's hit up the middle. Cortez is there. Shovels over to first for the out. Two outs. And that will bring up J.B. Gantry. The pitch to Gantry. That's low for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Fouled off and out of play. It's 1-1. The 1-1. And that's hit up the middle and bounces into center field. Standish will come in to score. And Manistee is on the board with that RBI single by J.B. Gantry. It's a 10-1 ball game. And Manistee trying to chip away at this seemingly insurmountable lead. And that will bring up Lincoln Smathers. Smathers was a strikeout victim in the first inning. And here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. The 0 1 pitch. And he sends that one into the gap in left center. Smathers will have a double. And Gantry gets the stop sign at third. Runners at second and third. Two outs for Ali Nunez. The pitch to Nunez. An awkward swing and a miss at that offering. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1. That's in there for a called strike. It's 0 and 2. The 
0 2. Very high for a ball. It's 1 and 2. And the 1 2 pitch. Outside for a ball. Count even at 2 and 2. The 2 2 pitch. Outside again for a ball. Full count. And here's the payoff pitch. That's a bouncer foul, and we'll do it again. And the pitch. And he fouls another one off, still 3-2. The pitch. And that is outside for a ball. That's a base on balls for Ali Nunez. Base is loaded now for Manistee. Two outs, and that brings up Tito McCaskill. The pitch to McCaskill. Inside for a ball, 1-0. The 1 0. That's called a strike. It's 1 and 1. The 1 1. Swung on and missed. It's 1 and 2. The 1 2. Called a strike, and that will end the inning. Manistee grinds out a run, and at the end of three, it's Cadillac 10, Manistee 1. We'll be back with the fourth inning in a moment, here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Visit the Flagstone State Fair in the Handyson Quintuplets. Three girls and four boys. Bring a canned good donation or four red stamps and get your picture taken with the kids. The Handyson Quintuplets at the Flagstone State Fair. And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field, everybody. We are heading to the top of the fourth inning. Cadillac leads 10-1 after a monster top of the third, where they scored nine times in the frame. And Gilligan Parker is up to square off against Boots Standish. The pitch to Parker. That's outside for a ball, 1-0. The 1-0 pitch, and that one is shot into right field, and that's a leadoff single for Parker. One on, no outs, and that brings up Pinky Slauson. The pitch to Slauson. That's in there for a strike. It's 0-1. The 1 pitch. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. And that's low for a ball. It's two and one. The two one. And Slauson smacks that one foul out of play. It's two and two.
the 2-2 pitch. Slauson fouls off another one, still 2-2. Two and two. And the pitch. And that's a hard liner right into the glove of Mary Hugh, and he quickly shovels back to first, and Parker will not get back to the bag in time. He was on his way to second base and got caught off guard, and that's a bang-bang 4-3 double play. Two outs now, bases empty for Gabriel Palomar. And the pitch to Palomar. That's low for a ball. It's 1-0. and The 1-0. Way outside for a ball. It's 2-0. and The 2-0 pitch. And Palomar fouls that one off. It's 2-1. The 2-1 pitch. That's in there for a called strike, 2-2. Two two. The 2-2 two two pitch. And that one paints the corner for a called strike for the third out of the inning. It remains. Cadillac 10, Manistee 1. We'll be back with more baseball here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Hello. You know me. This is Ed, Uncle Hat. The good folks over there at Big Tom, Sue, Pear, and Gelato ask me to drop by and say a few words for them about their business. Big Tom's been in Sue, Pear since he was knee-eyed to a locust, and his wife, whose name escapes me, has been in the gelato business for several days now. Why don't you stop by over there to Big Tom, Sue, Pear, and Gelato and Get your shoes repaired. If you're like me, you've put up quite a few miles in on those shoes. Why don't you get a nice cup of pistachio while you're there? You tell Big Tom that uh, Ed Uncle Pat said hi and don't kick him. Thanks for listening. And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field in Manistee. Wally McCarthy back with you as we begin the top of the fourth inning on this beautiful summer evening. And Rodrigo Maryhew will step in facing Bronson Nubbins. Maryhew had a base hit in the second inning. And the first pitch to Mary Hugh. Outside for a ball, it's 1 0. And the 1 0. And that's inside for a ball, it's 2 0. The 2 0 pitch. And that's low for a ball, and Nubbins falling behind 3-0. and And the 3-0 pitch. And that's fouled off and out of play. It's 3-1. and The 3-1. And that's popped up to left field. Gilligan Parker is camped under it, and he makes the catch for the first out. And that brings up Jean Haggerty. The pitch. And that's fouled off. It's 0-1.
and the 0-1. And that's outside for a ball. Count even at 1-1. One and one. The 1-1. One and that is skied foul and out of play. It's one and two. And here's the one-two pitch. Swung on and missed. That's a strikeout for out number two. Two outs, nobody on. And that brings up Boot Standish, who will bat for himself again. He had a double in his last at-bat. And the pitch. Outside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And the 1-0. And that's popped up to center field. And Ortega is there and makes the catch for the third out. At the end of four... It's Cadillac 10, Manistee 1. We'll be back with the fifth inning in a moment, here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Hey, kids. This is Blake Redderson. I'm here at Ted's Fishing World, and I just want to say they've got some great deals for people that like to fish or wish they could fish. They have reels, and they have lures, and they have bait. RLB. They call it. You're going to get the RLB specials 25% off if you mention my name, Blink Redderson. Ted's Fishing World. If fishing's in your head, trust Ted. Ted. back at Sam Nolan Field in Manistee. It's the top of the fifth inning. So far this game is all Cadillac. And they have a 10-1 lead. And Giovanni Gasparro steps in to face Boot Standish. Gasparro crushed a grand slam in the third inning. And here's the pitch. And that's in there for a cold strike. 0 and 1. The 0 1. That paints the corner for another cold strike. It's 0 and 2. And the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off and out of play, still 0-2. And the pitch. And Gasparro connects with that one. That's a little flare that drops into shallow left field. And Gasparro is aboard with a base hit. And that will bring up Fritz Ortega. He's got a base hit and a strikeout tonight. The pitch to Ortega. Outside for a ball, it's 1-0. and The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss, it's 1-1. One and one. The 
the 1-1 pitch. Way outside for a ball. Two balls and a strike. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Ortega fouls that one off. It's 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2. And look out. That one hits Ortega in the shoulder, and he's down. That one had to sting, my friends. And he is getting up slowly, and he will saunter down to first base. So two aboard with no outs in the inning, and that will bring up pitcher Bronson Nubbins, a strikeout victim in his last at-bat. The pitch to Nubbins. In there for a strike, 0-1. The 0-1. Swung on and missed. 0-2. The 0-2. And Nubbins takes a non-committal hack at that one for strike number three. One out. Runners on first and second. And that will bring Flipper Cortez to the plate. The pitch to Cortez. That's low for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Called a strike. It's 1-1. The 1-1. And that one is outside for a ball. It's 2-1. The 2 1. Slapped foul, it's 2 and 2. The 2 2 pitch. Outside for a ball, full count. The payoff pitch. Fouled off and out of play, and we'll do it again. And the pitch. And that is low for a ball. Cadillac has the bases loaded with one out. And that brings up Philip Nakamura. The pitch to Nakamura. That's called a strike. It's 0-1. Via one pitch. Nakamura swings and misses at a high fastball. It's 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. And that's in the dirt, and it gets away from Gantry. Gasparro will score from third, and all runners will advance 90 feet. A run in, men on second and third, one out, and Cadillac now leads 11-1. And here's the one-two pitch to Nakamura. And that's way outside for a ball. It's two and two. The two-two. Outside again for a ball. It's three and two. The three-two pitch. Smacked foul and out of play, and we'll do it again. The payoff pitch, and that smashed right down the third base line and into the glove of Ali Nunez at third for the second out. And that brings up Shiny Patterson with two outs. Patterson had a base hit in the third.
And here's the pitch. And Patterson crushes that one to deep right field. And that one is over the wall for a three-run homer. And Cadillac now leads 14-1. Falling knife has no handle, as they like to say. And Gilligan Parker will step in. The first pitch is low and outside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 -oh pitch. That's called a strike. It's 1-1. One and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch. That's in there for a strike. It's 1-2. and two. And the 1-2 pitch. Fouled off. Still 1-2. And, and the pitch. And that's a fly ball into left field. Navarro is under it. And he will make the catch for the third out. But Cadillac does some more damage here in the fifth, and they now lead 14-1. We'll be back with the bottom of the fifth on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. that uh, Ed Horn's house of sleep asked me to drop by and talk to you a minute about their mattresses and other sleep-related items, beds, headboards, nightcaps, and essential oils. They just added the essential oils last week. Uh, Ed Horn's wife, uh, Beatrice, got over there, and, and uh, she's really into the essential oils. She makes her own. They have a few little tubs out back. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Ed Horn's house of sleep. You don't need to count your sheep if you go to Ed Horn's house of sleep. Ed And welcome back to cozy Sam Nolan Field here in Manistee. As we begin the bottom of the fifth inning, Cadillac leads 14-1. And Mickey Navarro will step in to face Bronson Nubbins. Navarro walked in the first inning. And the pitch from Nubbins. That's in there for a strike, 0-1. And, Here's the 0-1. Just outside for a ball, it's 1-1. One and, one. The 1-1. One, one. And that's a loping curveball hit foul, it's 1-2. The one two. Swing and a miss, and Navarro is down on strikes. One out, nobody on. And that brings up Billy Joe Rickson. The pitch. Outside for a ball, it's one and oh. The 1-0. Outside again, it's 
the 2-0 pitch. That's in there for a called strike. It's 2-1. The 2-1 pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. And the 2-2 pitch. That's outside and the count is full. And the payoff pitch. That's popped into left field. Gilligan Parker is under it. And he has it for the second out. And that brings up J.B. Gantry with nobody on and two out. The pitch. That's in there for a called strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch. And that's hit into left field. Parker is going to get there, and he will have it for the third out. And at the end of five, it's all Cadillac, and they lead 14-1. We'll be back with the sixth inning here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. This is the Reverend Ira Gay for the Buckstop Bend Community Theater. I hope you'll join me for their production of Our Town. The Buckstop Inn Community Theater. Making things happen. Welcome back to Sam Nolan Field in beautiful Manistee. It's a perfect night to enjoy a ball game, although I don't imagine the Eagles are enjoying this one too much. As we begin the sixth inning, they trail 14-1. And Pinky Slauson will step in for Cadillac to face Boots Standish. The pitch to Slauson. That's outside for a ball. It's 1 0. The 1 0 in there for a strike. It's 1 1. The pitch. That's a high fly ball to center field, and Lincoln Smathers has it for out number one. And that brings up Gabriel Palomar. The pitch to Palomar. And that one's popped up into shallow center field. Mary Hugh is on the move, and he has it for out number two. And that brings up Giovanni Gasparro. He has a single and a grand slam so far this evening. The pitch. In there for a strike, it's 0-1. Deal one. Gasparo takes a wild swing at that one. It's 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. And he's rung up for the third out of the inning. 
and that's a 1-2-3 inning for Boots Standish. It remains Cadillac 14, Manistee 1. We'll be back with the bottom of the sixth in a few moments on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. shenanigans of the Sleep Baseball universe at sleepbaseball.com. The latest episodes, news from the Quint Cities, and fabulous items from the gift shop. Sign up for Wally's World, our infrequent and mildly entertaining newsletter. Find it all today at sleepbaseball.com. And welcome back with us here in Manistee's beautiful Sam Nolan Field. Sam Nolan Field, of course, voted the most calming ballpark in the world by Horse and Leisure magazine. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. The two, three, and four hitters do up for Manistee. And Lincoln Smathers steps in. He smacked a double in the third frame. The pitch from Nubbins. That's called a strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1. Slapped foul and out of play. It's 0-2. the pitch. Outside for a ball, it's one and two. The one-two pitch. Outside again, count even at two. And the two-two pitch. And that's called a strike for the first out of the inning. And that will bring up Ali Nunez. And the pitch. That's called a strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1. Low for a ball. It's 1-1. The 1-1. One, one. Low again, it's 2-1. Two, two The pitch. That's a curveball called a strike. It's 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2. Two, two. And that bounces in the dirt in front of home plate. Full count. The 3-2. That's hit on the ground right to shortstop Pinky Slauson, who shovels over to first for the out. Two outs, nobody on, and here comes Tito McCaskill. And now a zany fan wearing an eagle costume has taken the field. The grounds crew is giving chase, but he has evaded them thus far and is still at large. Let's pause a moment for a station ID while the chase continues. 
You're drifting off with WSLP AM, Big Rapids. All right, the eagle has been apprehended. The crowd seemed to enjoy that, but I'm guessing that young man is going to spend the night in the cooler. And here's Tito McCatskill. The pitch. Swung on and missed. 0-1. one Slapped foul. It's 0-2. VO2, outside, it's one and two. The one, two, and that's a long foul ball into the stand, still one and two. The pitch. Way outside for a ball, count even at two and two. The two two pitch. Skied foul. Patterson is going to try to get there, but he will run out of room and we'll do it again. the pitch. Slashed foul again, and he's making Nubbins work out there. Still two and two. And the pitch. And he fouls off another one. And the pitch. And he pops that one way up. Patterson is after it. And he will have room. He makes the catch for the third out. Manistee goes down relatively quietly in the bottom of the sixth. It remains Cadillac 14, Manistee 1. We'll be back with the seventh inning in a moment. Here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Buck three, AV. Specializing in Betamax and multivision DVD. The only such service in the Quint City area. Tim Buck three, AV. And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field, everybody. Wally McCarthy reporting. And Cadillac will have the 8, 9, and 1 players up in the top of the 7th. Cadillac leads 14-1. And in steps Fritz Ortega. And here's the pitch from Boots Standish. In there for a strike, it's 0 and 1. The 0 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch. Slapped foul, it's 1 and 2. The one-two, and that's way inside. That may have hit him, actually. And the umpire, Burt Gibbs, says that it did, in fact, hit him. So he will trot down to first. 
Ortega has now been hit twice in this game. Runner on first, no outs, and that will bring up the pitcher spot. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter for Bronson Nubbins. And that will be Eddie Kincaid. The first pitch to Kincaid. Inside, that's a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0. Fouled off, it's one and one. The pitch. That's low for a ball, it's two and one. The two one pitch. That's a curveball fouled off and out of play, two and two. And the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. That's the first out of the inning. And that will bring up the top of the order, Flipper Cortez. Cortez has walked twice in this game. And the pitch. And that one is gulfed into right field. Rickson is there, and he's got it for out number two. And that brings up Philip Nakamura. The pitch to Nakamura. Called a strike, 0 and 1. The 0 1. And Nakamura smashes that one down the first base line. And that's going to end up in the corner. Rickson is after it. Ortega will end up at third, and that's a double for Nakamura. Runners on second and third, one away, and here comes Shiny Patterson. Patterson homered in his last at-bat. And the pitch. That's called a strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1. Inside. That almost hit him. The 1-1 pitch. And Patterson dribbles that one right through the infield for a base hit. Ortega will score. And now Nakamura will come in to score. And that's a two-run single for Shiny Patterson. And Cadillac now leads 16-1. Cadillac, in fact, threatening to break the league's single-game scoring record tonight. And here's Gilligan Parker. The pitch. Called a strike. It's 0-1. The 0-1. Outside for a ball, it's one and one. The one one pitch. And Parker gets all of that one. That one sails lazily over the outfield wall. And that's a two run homer. And it's now an 18 1 ball game. When it rains porridge, beggars have no spoons. And Pinky Slauson will step in. And the pitch. And Slauson hits that one right into the shift. Mary Hugh picks it up and shovels to first in time for the third out to mercifully end this inning. But Cadillac scores four more runs, and they now lead 18 1. We'll be back with the bottom of the seventh inning here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network.
I'm Giovanni Gasparo for Mr. King's Party Goods. We're the only one in the Queen City area with a helium. How else you gonna float a balloon without a helium? That's what I say. Go over to Mr. King's Party Goods. Tell him that Giovanni Gasparo sent them. What a lift. Mr. King's Party Goods. Welcome back to Sam Nolan Field in Manistee. We are in the bottom of the seventh inning, and Cadillac leads 18-1. And Rodrigo Merrihue will step in for Manistee to face relief pitcher Jimmy Shirley. And here's the pitch. Outside for a ball, it's 1 0. The 1 0 pitch. Low for a ball, it's 2 0. And the pitch. Outside again for a ball, and Shirley falls behind 3 0. The 3-0 pitch, way outside, and that skirts away from Gasparo. So Shirley walks the first batter on four straight pitches. And that will bring up Gian Haggerty. Here's the pitch. That's in there for a strike. It's 0-1. The 0 1. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. And Haggerty cracks that one into the gap in shallow left field for a base hit. Runners on first and second, nobody out, and pinch hitter Cesar Nixon will step in. The pitch. A called strike, it's 0 and 1. The 0 1. Outside for a ball, count even at 1 and 1. The 1-1. One, one. Called a strike, it's 1-2. and two. The 1-2. And Nixon takes an awkward whiff at that one for the first out. And that will bring up Mickey Navarro. Shirley's pitch. Outside for a ball, it's 1 and 0. The 1 0 pitch. Low for a ball, it's 2 and 0. The 2 0 pitch. That paints the corner for a strike, it's 2 and 1. And the 2-1. In there again, right on the corner for another called strike. It's 2-2. Two two. The 2-2. Two two. Fouled off and out of play, and we'll do it again. The pitch. In there for a called strike for out number two. 
Two outs, two on, and here comes Billy Joe Rickson. The pitch. Outside for a ball, it's 1-0. The 1-0. And Rickson dribbles that one foul down the first base line. It's 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one pitch. Smashed foul and out of play. It's 1-2. The 1-2. Outside for a ball, it's two and two. The two two pitch. That's a hard grounder. Slauson is after it. He bobbles the ball, and the throw to first will not be in time. And that's going to be called an error for Slauson. E6. Bases loaded, two outs, and here's J.B. Gantry. The pitch. Inside for a ball, it's 1-0. The 1 0. Called a strike, it's 1 and 1. And the 1 1 pitch. Swung on and missed, it's 1 and 2. The 1 2. That one's in the dirt for a ball, almost gets away from Gasparo. It's two and two. The two two. In the dirt again, and that one does get away from Gasparo. Runners will advance, and Mary Hugh will score from third. So it's an 18 2 ball game now. Runners on second and third, two outs. And it's a 3-2 count for J.B. Gantry. The payoff pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's out number three. Manistee chips away, scoring a run on the wild pitch. And at the end of seven, it's Cadillac 18, Manistee 2. We'll be back with the eighth inning here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Hey kids, this is Blink Redderson. I'm here at Ted's Fishing World, and I just want to say they've got some great deals for people that like to fish or wish they could fish. They have reels, and they have lures, and they have bait. RLB. They call it. You can get the RLB specials 25% off if you mention my name, Blink Redderson. Ted's Fishing World. If fishing's in your head, trust Ted. Ted. As we begin the eighth inning here at Sam Nolan Field, Cadillac has a commanding 18-2 lead. And relief pitcher Monty Avalon has taken the mound for Manistee, and he will face Pinky Slauson.
and the pitch to Slauson. That's in there for a strike, 0-1. V01 pitch. That's outside for a ball. It's one and one. The one one. And that's lobbed into shallow left field. And that's a base hit for Pinky Slauson. One on, no outs for Gabriel Palomar. And the pitch. And Palomar belts that one to deep left field. Navarro will have room. And he makes the catch for the first out. And that brings up catcher Giovanni Gasparro. The pitch to Gasparro. That's called a strike. It's 0-1. The pitch. Dribbled foul and out of play, 0 and 2. And the 0 2. And he swings and misses. Two outs. And that will bring Fritz Ortega to the plate. He's been hit by two pitches in this game. The pitch. That's hit on the ground. McCaskill has it and tosses to first in time for the third out. At the end of seven and a half, it's Cadillac 18, Manistee 2. We'll be back with the bottom of the eighth inning here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. Visit the Flagstone State Fair and the Handyson Quintuplets Three girls and four boys. Bring a canned good donation or four red stamps and get your picture taken with the kids. The Handyson Quintuplets at the Flagstone State Fair. And welcome back to Sam Nolan Field here in Manistee. We are in the bottom of the eighth inning. Cadillac leads 18-2. Jimmy Shirley is back on the mound for Cadillac, and he will face Lincoln Smathers. Smathers has struck out twice and had a double in the third. Here's the pitch, and Smathers hits that one into the gap in shallow right field for a base hit. And that's a leadoff single for Manistee. And that will bring up Ali Nunez. The pitch to Nunez. That's high for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0. In there for a called strike right down the middle. The 
the 1-1. One -one. Just inside for a ball, it's 2-1. The 2-1 pitch. That's low for a ball, and Shirley falls behind 3-1. The 3-1. Nunez skies that one to right field. Palomar is under it, and he will have it for the first out. One on, one out. And that brings up Tito McCaskill. McCaskill hitless so far in this game. The pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. one Another swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Oh the 0-2 pitch, and McCaskill takes a wild hack at that one and misses badly. That's a strikeout. Two outs, one on, and Rodrigo Maryhew will step in. The pitch to Mary Hugh. In there for a strike, 0 and 1. The 0 1. Swung on and missed, it's 0 and 2. And the 0 2. And Mary Hugh absolutely crushes that one for a long, lazy home run. That's a two-run homer, and it's now an 18-4 ball game. And Manistee is trying to chip away at this seemingly insurmountable lead. And that brings up Gian Haggerty. The pitch. Outside for a ball, 1-0. and out. The 1-0. That's in there for a strike. It's 1-1. One and one. The 1-1. One, one. High for a ball, it's 2-1. The 2-1 pitch. And that's outside, it's 3-1. The 2-1 pitch. Swung on and missed, full count. And here's the payoff pitch. And that's a long foul ball out of play, and we'll do it again. The pitch. And Haggerty pokes that one right past the diving Slauson for a base hit. Runner on first, two outs, and that brings up Monty Avalon, who will apparently bat for himself here. That's a strange decision. The pitch to Avalon. And Avalon pops that one up to center. Ortega is there, and he makes the catch for the third out. And at the end of eight innings, it's Cadillac 18, Manistee 4. We'll be back with the top of the ninth in a few moments, here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network.
This is Winston T. Winston, President of WSLP. I'd like to talk to you for a moment about our upcoming meat raffle. Blinky Below will be handing out sausages, and the WSLP dancing girls will be performing their charcuterie dance ensemble routine that they've been working on for many days now. Please join us at the WSLP Meat Rep. And welcome back on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network to Sam Nolan Field in Manistee. We are in the home stretch, top of the ninth. Monty Avalon on the mound for Manistee, and the pitcher spot is due up for Cadillac. And Ernesto Rubio is the pinch hitter. The pitch to Rubio. That's called a strike, 0 and 1. The 0 1. Outside for a ball, it's 1 and 1. The 1 1. Low for a ball, it's 2 and 1. The 2 1 pitch. That's in there for a called strike, count even. The 2 2. In the dirt for a ball, full count. And the payoff pitch. Very high for a ball. That's a leadoff walk for Ernesto Rubio. One on, no outs. And that brings up the top of the order Flipper Cortez. The pitch to Cortez. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1. Smacked foul. 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. Fouled off again. Still 0 and 2. The pitch. Low for a ball, it's one and two. The one two pitch. Low and away, it's two and two. The two two pitch. And that's inside, it's a full count. And the payoff pitch. High for a ball, and it's another base on balls. Two on, no outs. And that will bring up Philip Nakamura. Nakamura is a triple shy of hitting for the cycle this evening. And the pitch. That's low for a ball, 1 and 0. The 1 0. In there for a called strike, 1 and 1. The 1 1. Chopped foul, and it's 1 and 2.
the one two very high and that one gets away from catcher JB Gantry it's off the backstop quickly and runners do not advance and the 2-2 pitch and that's a long fly ball to right field Rickson is there and he will make the catch for the first out one out two on and in steps shiny Patterson the pitch to Patterson and he flies that one to far right field Rickson is after it and he will not get there that drops in for a base hit and that bounces over the wall for a ground rule double Ernesto Rubio scores from second, and Cadillac now leads 19-4. And that brings up Gilligan Parker. Runners at second and third, one out for Parker. And here's the pitch. Very high and outside, it's 1-0. The 1 0. Fouled off and out of play. It's 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch. And Parker pops that one up. Ali Nunez is on the run. He will have room in foul territory. And he has it for out number two. And Pinky Slauson will step in for Cadillac. The pitch. And Slauson flies that one to deep center. Smathers is on the move. And he makes the catch on the warning track for the third out. So after eight and a half, it's Cadillac 19, Manistee 4. We'll be back with the bottom of the ninth here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. to date with all the shenanigans of the Sleep Baseball universe at SleepBaseball.com. The latest episodes, news from the Quint Cities, and fabulous items from the gift shop. Sign up for Wally's World, our infrequent and mildly entertaining newsletter. Find it all today at SleepBaseball.com. And welcome back into Sam Nolan Field here in beautiful Manistee, Michigan. As we head into the bottom of the ninth inning, Cadillac leads 19-4. The last chance for the Manistee Eagles to put, oh, 16 runs on the board and put this one to bed. And reliever Manny Rabinowitz takes the mound for Cadillac. And he'll face the top of the Manistee order, Mickey Navarro. And here's the pitch to Navarro. That's a curveball, a touch high. It's 1-0. The 1 0. Swung out and missed. 1 and 1.
the one one pitch another curveball outside it's two and one. the pitch. And Navarro takes a hack at that one and misses. Count even, two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. And Navarro strikes out for the first out in the bottom of this ninth inning. That's Navarro's third strikeout of the game. And that'll bring up Billy Joe Rickson. He's one for four with a single in the first inning. The pitch. Inside for a ball, one and out. The 1 0 -oh pitch. Popped up down the third baseline, knuckling foul. Patterson gives chase, but he will run out of room. It's one and one. The one one. That's in there for a called strike. One and two. The one two pitch. Foul and out of play will do it again. And the pitch. Fouled off again, still one and two. And that one's outside for a ball. Count even at two and two. The 2-2 pitch, and that's called a strike. Rickson not happy with that call. Two outs, nobody on, and Manistee is down to their last chance. And so it will be up to J.B. Gantry. The pitch to Gantry. Outside for a ball, it's 1-0. The 1 0. Swung on and missed. It's 1 and 1. The 1 1. And Gantry gulps that one into the gap in left center. That's a base hit. So 1 on, 2 outs for Lincoln Smathers. The pitch. That's in there for a strike. 0 and 1. The 0 1. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch. Outside for a ball. 1 and 2. The one two. Way outside for a ball. Count even at two. The two two pitch. And that is swung on and missed for the final out of this game. And it was all Cadillac this evening, and they take this one 19 to 4. We'll be back with the post-game show here on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network. <laughs> Hello. You know me. This is Ed, Uncle Hat. The good folks over there at Big Tom, Shoe Repair, and Gelato asked me to drop by and say a few words for them. About their business. Big Tom's been in shoe repairs since he was knee-eyed to a locust, and his wife, who's 
name escapes me, has been in the gelato business for several days now. Why don't you stop by over there to Big Tom's Shoe Repair and Gelato and get your shoes repaired. If you're like me, you've put up quite a few miles in on those shoes. Why don't you get a nice cup of pistachio while you're there? And tell Big Tom that uh, Ed Uncle Hat said hi and don't kick him. Thanks for listening. Well, folks, so this one is what we call a laugher. The kind of game where both dreams and ERAs go to die. For Cadillac, 19 runs on 16 hits, one error. For Manistee, 4 runs on 10 hits, no errors. And starting pitcher Bronson Nubbins notches yet another win. Be sure to join us next time as we travel with the Big Rapids Timbers under and around Lake Michigan to face the Toma Tigers of Toma, Wisconsin. From producer Phil and all of us on the Northwoods Baseball Radio Network, thanks for joining us, and sweet dreams.